spectacle out here in the East End early this afternoon. Eight high schoolers and one adult cuffed and sitting on the curb. Apparently just enough drama for a driver as he slams into the back end of another car and takes off without stopping. Henrico parents call to the corner of Spruce and East Nine Mile. Some visibly upset with their teens who were charged with breaking into an abandoned home. Police everywhere, and they were focused on this corner house, you know, to the left of me. Police weren't the only ones focused on that house. Yeah. So was a driver looking on, slamming into the back of a car, then taking off. Hit run. Insider sources say after a brief pursuit, police catch the driver at a dead end on nearby North Quince Avenue. Those same sources telling me the driver had two guns he stashed in a drain pipe and drugs. The driver was charged with felony hit and run. When I saw the blue lights, um, there was six, seven police cars out front of my house. Patricia Mitten has lived in Highland Springs for more than three decades. She praises police for their quick response to crimes in the area but says lately it seems out of control. In the last 10 years, it is getting worse. Yes, it's getting worse. Eight teens skipping school, learning a valuable life lesson. All of them released to their parents, all of them charged with juvenile petitions, where they will learn their fate in court. It surprises me, yes it does. But at the same time, um, you'll see them like get dropped off a lot, you know, in the, uh, school parking lot and then they walk out you know and they walk off again all eight juveniles were released to their parents the adult male was taken down to PSB for booking crime insider sources there have been a number of suspicious activity reports at that home at the corner of nine mile and spruce for the past few weeks